start cleaning up these intersections right here for the peace sign, we've got to do a lot of what we call partial deleting. And we're going to use a tool called the scissor tool. So if you come over here and you look around and you see some of these commands here, you see the scissor tool is right below the eraser tool. The eraser tool works as well, but we're going to use scissor tool in this application. So I'm going to use my alt key and my middle mouse button and I'm going to roll up or zoom up on this area here. So the first thing I'm going to do with my scissor tool active is I'm going to click on, uh, I get to as close as I can, that line and this line. Now it shows that this fat part here still a is active. I don't want that part. I actually want this part with I just cut with my scissors. I hit delete. Now I'll use my C command again, turn on my scissor tool, click here and click here. I'm just going to kind of click above and below and we'll connect those angles up here in a moment. Okay, so now I got that selected. Hit my delete key and it's gone. Come over here to this side. Click. Whoops. Missed it. There's the path. And I'll come down here to this path here. And since it's both selected, hit delete. May have to hit it twice. Get rid of that. Okay. Come down here. Same thing. Here. And yeah, that's the part I want out. So I hit delete. Now let's do a control zero, which zooms to the extents of the file. Okay, control plus zooms in, control minus zooms out. So I can also use my Z key, which hits my magnifying glass over here. I can draw a polygon around that. It's pretty cool. All right, back to the scissor tool. Okay, we'll hit the uh, scissor tool, click on these lines, hit delete, delete, and it's gone. Now, on this circle, I'm going to kind of come down to right about here on the intersection and hit that. Let's see if it'll select it. No, it's not looking for it, so we'll just come off here to the side a little bit. Hit, hit that. I probably have, oh, it's in the other layer. I forgot. Yes. Unlock that layer. Now, let's come down here and see if it finds it. Yes, it did. Awesome. Now, we'll come down here to this. Find that one. And so it still has the fatter part of the circle selected, so I'll Alt select and then I'll come up and click on this section here and say delete, delete. And I think there's a piece here as well. Yeah, there it is. Delete, delete, delete. Let's keep going. My V key hit the, uh, the selection arrow. There it is. It's gone. All right, so let's do control zero, zoom out. Uh, let's go to the right hand side of the leg. So we'll hit the Z key, we'll zoom up in here, and we'll start cleaning that guy up. Again, C tool for the scissor here, and right about there. Oh, didn't select it. Hit the V key, come down here. There it is. Delete. Okay, scissor tool again with the C command. Hit here, hit here. And that should delete out. It did. One more delete. There we go. So control zero to zoom out. Now let's go up here to the top. We're going to roll up using the alt key and my middle mouse button. Hit the C key for the scissor. And we'll hit the V key to get our black arrow, as you see. You got to get really good at what they call the finger dance. The finger dance is where you learn how to use your keyboard uh, keys faster. It makes you a lot more productive as a designer uh, when you learn how to use the uh, hotkeys that call up each command. Delete. It's gone. Control zero to zoom out. As opposed to always going up in here and hitting these various palette commands and menu commands, it just really slows you down. Hit my space bar and I'm going to pan over my alt key and roll up. So as you notice, I'm showing you various ways to, to manipulate uh, the screen. C key for scissor. Delete key, it's gone. C key again for this. Two deletes, gone. Control zero to zoom out. Okay, looks like we got the beginnings of a pretty good piece on. All right, I'm going to roll up here on this using my Alt uh, button and my middle mouse wheel, kind of zoom up on it. Using my space bar, kind of pan over. I'm going to go ahead and hide my layers menu. Now what I'm going to do is I want to try to join these two guys up as close as I can. Now I'm going to use a lot of this command right here called the direct selection tool. I also can use my pen tool, this guy here. 
And pin tool makes it kind of easy, actually. So I'm going to try that one first. So I'm going to come up here to this. And I'm going to roll up even closer. And I'm going to try to stay pretty. Ah, that's where I want it, right there. You see how it kind of intersects here? And I'll select that. See how the little, see, notice that the lower right has got a pointed uh, open arrow. If I come up here, you see that chain show up. That means it's linking to the next graphic. When it does that, I can then hit my minus command. Now I got the minus command on that. I can get rid of that one little point there. And I can also come up here and modify these very, very close. Maybe get rid of that one as well. Now I do a control zero because I'm zoomed up so far. Click off here to the side and I got a perfect shape. Now let's go down here to this guy right here and do the same thing. So again, we use the P command instead of the minus. P is our pen tool. And it's got an asterisk and it's saying, hey, there's an anchor point. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to connect to that one. See the little chain show up? That's great. That's what we want. Now hit the minus command and I'll get rid of that extra point. You don't necessarily have to do that. I can just leave it there if I want. It's not going to make that big of a difference on the design. So now that's all linked together. And if I want, I can also roll up here to the top. And you can see the same thing up here. So I'm going to start this time with the P command, P for the P key. So that's again in the upper left here. And I'm going to come up here and select on that and link those together. It's awesome. Control zero. So now we've got that side looking really good. We can do the same thing as we work our way around the P sign. So you see how I've done it. I'm going to stop here, but you go connect all your little uh, open gaps here to make a solid peace sign. And we'll come back to that in a little bit.